Welcome to this fifth and final session in the series where I'm creating ArcGIS data in AutoCAD. I'm using Esri's popular free plugin to AutoCAD, ArcGIS for AutoCAD. In this series, I've identified five different ways to establish ArcGIS datasets within an AutoCAD file. In this session, I'll demonstrate the method of creating and using template files in AutoCAD. I'll use template files that already contain ArcGIS web services. I'll discuss how symbols are used by web feature services. I'll discuss template files with local feature classes containing domains and subtypes. Let's get started. I have three map services in this drawing. I can change the behavior and properties of these services so that when I open this template file, they will be set the way I prefer to use them. I use some map services dynamically where I highlight the content visibly in the forefront, while other maps like imagery, I like to keep darker in the background and refresh them on demand. Template files can contain anything a DWG file can contain. However, I generally create relatively empty template files that contain the AutoCAD layers and default symbols that I will use, along with the ArcGIS for AutoCAD coordinate system definition. I create blocks with specific names so that when point features are added from a feature service, they'll be drawn using my block symbols. As long as I name my blocks according to the feature service layer name, I can create any symbol I want. Here, I'll use the standard AutoCAD block editor to define a specific block for my water service tap fitting. I will create a template file from this existing project drawing by clearing out all of the entities and saving the drawing as a template file. Notice I do not delete the features from the feature service to create this template file. I'm being specific when I say I'm clearing out the contents, not deleting. I empty the drawing of feature service features by setting my service limits to an area void of current features. If I'm using feature services for editing, deleting entities would be remembered even months later when my drawing or a copy of this drawing was synchronized with the server. So I do not delete feature service entities to create an empty template drawing. I control the content of my feature services with the service limits. To create template files in AutoCAD, I simply save the AutoCAD drawing with its DWT extension. All of the contents of the resulting DWT file are included when I open up a new AutoCAD drawing based on my template file. AutoCAD treats the DWT file extension drawings in a special way. AutoCAD will keep track of these template drawings for me in their own directory. Now from the same drawing, I'm going to create a version with just local feature classes. I simply extract the feature services and they're demoted to local feature classes. Although there are many ways to create local feature classes inside of ArcGIS for AutoCAD, the only way to create feature classes with subtypes and attribute field domains is to export them from feature services. I then save this drawing as a DWT file to create a local feature class template. Each time I create a new drawing, I need not start from scratch with an empty drawing, but rather I'll start with the content, symbols, and configuration information I've included in my template file. I have a coordinate system defined in my drawing. Although there are no features in this drawing, I do have content. I can travel to the different map services, like these soils here. Contained within the drawing is the schema to create features. So here I can set the local feature class to define for a water main. So after I place the water main on the correct layer, I have access to the different attributes, including any attribute domains or subtypes. I'm going to open another new drawing, this time connected to feature services. It has similar content to the other template file.
The same coordinate system is defined in this drawing. Here, I will use the Esri Locate service to go to my project area. I will zoom to my project area and set my service limits. Once I set my service limits, the drawing will be synchronized with the server and it will be populated with features from the view. Because my template file included specially named blocks, all the point features in the feature services will be drawn using my custom symbols. As with every feature service, the schema of the feature service is included when it's added to the drawing. Once populated with features, I can continue to edit, adding new features, modifying existing features, and making any deletions that are necessary to get my project work done. After performing any of my edits, I can synchronize with the server, the server that was referenced in the template file that I used to start this drawing. I hope you've enjoyed this training series. Please come back and look for more content at the same location.